Um, this painting is called The Resurrection of Napoleon Bonaparte. It was inspired by a request in December or November 2015 to paint a picture of the White Nancy, which is this monument here. It's a monument in Bollington in Cheshire, which was actually a war memorial for the Napoleonic Wars. There are many theories about what the White Nancy is. Some people say it's a beacon, um, one of a series of beacons to light up across England in case of an attack by Napoleon, uh, which is maybe a bit unlikely as you'd think there'd be several beacons and particularly you think they'd be near the east coast perhaps rather than just one single one in the middle of Cheshire. Um, either way, it remained uh, and remains a, a really outstanding monument that's very popular and it does overlook a vast landscape, the plains of Cheshire, which is here, and that's a realistic depiction of the landscape around Bollington, um, near Macclesfield. Um, when I was painting it, I researched the, the White Nancy, of course, and I, and I just had an incredible urge to paint Napoleon in the sky. It just, I, I just couldn't resist doing that when I was painting this. And so I, I was fixated on the image of Napoleon crossing the Alps by David. Uh, so I painted him in the sky there, pointing westwards towards the, the sun. And so some of these elements down here were from David's great painting. Um, and also I wanted him painting, I wanted him pointing towards something. Originally it was a glorious horizon, something really triumphant and um, positive. Um, a bit like the music of the Eroica Symphony, Beethoven's uh, Third Symphony. I'm a, a huge Beethoven fan, and it's such a positive, moving thing that I thought I want to. I want it to be the start of something new, a dawn, uh, an amazing dawn. But also, while I was painting it, there came to me. Uh, there came. I wanted to do something that was. Um, had a definite point on the horizon, directly below the sun, or the, like something was happening on that very, very point. So it ended up being a storm as much as a dawn. Something raging, something distant, boiling, burning, something coming. So it's definitely about the future. And then by chance I'd finished this um, about the middle of uh, 2016, at which time Britain had just voted for Brexit, which is quite an important uh, historical moment in the history of Europe. And also um, France as a nation had started to bomb Syria uh, as taking part in the, uh, or becoming involved in the civil war there. So, so both those events seem to evoke the spirit of this painting by pure chance. It was, it was something about France and imperialism and a coming storm, something in the distance, something unnerving, and it just seemed to almost magically capture the zeitgeist in that unexpected way. Which is why it's um, got an unusual historical resonance, this painting. But uh, here it is.